In my previous video, I have shown you how to build a ASP Async web server using Node MCU and plot the data to the real time chart. So, using the same concept and the same project and adding few things, I have built an IoT based flood monitoring system. So, as you know, flood is a major non natural disaster that causes huge amount of loss to the environment as well as living beings. So, in this condition, it is most critical to get emergency alerts of water level starters at the river beds and different conditions. In this project, the objective is to sense the water levels at the uh, river and check whether there is normal condition or not. If the water level reach beyond the limit, then it alerts the people through the LED indication as well as the buzzer and the internet application. Here we are using ultrasonic sensor to sense the river levels and node MCU ESP8266 to process this data. The data will be uploaded to the ThingSpeak IoT cloud platform using which the river levels can be graphically monitored from anywhere in the world. So to build this project we need the following components. The first one is ESP8266 node MCU, ultrasonic sensor, power supply, LEDs, red and green, a buzzer, breadboard and few jumper wires. This block diagram shows the working principle of IoT based flood monitoring system. Here the ultrasonic sensor is used to sense the water level of the river and the data output from the ultrasonic sensor is fed to the node MCU where it is proceed and sent to the ThingSpeak for graphical monitoring and critical alert. Here is a red LED to denote the alert with a buzzer sound and the green LED is used to indicate the normal condition with no buzzer sound. So here is the flood monitoring system circuit diagram. The BCC pin of the SCSR04 sensor is connected to B in pin, GND is connected to the GND pin and trick pin is connected to D1, GPIO pin number 5 and ECO pin is connected to D2, GPIO pin number 4. Similarly, green LED is connected to D4 pin and red LED is connected to D3 GPIO 0 pin. Similarly, buzzer positive pin is connected to D5 and GND pin is connected to the ground. Now the circuit diagram is completed. Now it's time to set up the IoT platform where the data can be stored to monitor online from anywhere in the world. Here we are using ThingSpeak to store the data which is very popular IoT cloud platform used to build and store, monitor and process the data online. First of all, sign up for ThingSpeak. Go to the URL thingspeak.com and create a new free MathWorks account. If you don't have a MathWorks account, create it for free. Now sign in to ThingSpeak using your credential and click a new channel. Now fill up the details of the project like name, field name, etc. Here we have created our field names such as fraud monitoring or you can put any others as your wish. Now select the created channel and record the following credential such as channel ID which is at the top of the channel view, uh, write an API key which is found at the API keys tab of your channel view. Now it's time to add widget to the GUI. Now click on add widget and add 4 appropriate uses as you like like gauges, numeric display and the indicator. In my case I have taken an indicator for the flood and select the appropriate field name for each widget. To read the flood status I have selected the condition if field 1 is less than equal to 5 then turn on the lamp at the interval of every 50 seconds and the color changes to the red. So similarly you can do same for the green indicator if you if the field 1 is greater than 5 then you can make the LED glow green. So it's easy you can do it by looking at this video. Now after successful completion of hardware setup it's time to program the ESP8266 node MCU board. To upload the code into the node MCU using 
Arduino IDE, you will need to copy this URL and go to the file preferences in the additional board manager URL field. Enter the URL and just click OK. Now go to the tools board and boards manager in the board manager window type esp8266 in the search box then select the latest version of the board and click on install now you can program the node mcu with arduino id upload the complete code into esp8266 node mcu but before compiling and uploading the code you need to make some changes on the code so watch the video carefully now i have started the code by including all the required library file like esp8266 wifi.h for esp8266 board and thingspeak.h library is used for thingspeak iot platform which can be added to the arduino id go to the arduino id and choose the skits include library and go to manage libraries now search for things speak and click on the install button here i have defined the pins which are used for ultrasonic sensor and leds with buzzer now the network credential that is ssid and password are defined which are required to connect the node mc with internet then the thing speak account credential such as channel number api are defined in the following manner which are recorded earlier so make sure you have edited your credential in the place of these variables then the variables for timing purpose are defined then to connect the node mc to the internet we have called the wi-fi dot begin and pass the network ssid and password as its arguments check for the successful network connection using wi-fi dot status and after successful connection it print a message on the serial monitor with a local ip address then connect to the thingspeak platform using the provided credential for this thingspeak dot begin function is used for calculating the distance an input pulse is given to the sensor through the trick pin of the ultrasonic sensor. Here, as per the SCSR 04 data sheet, a 2 microsecond pulse is given, and then from the echo pin, the output pulse of the sensor is read, and the distance is calculated in centimeter. Then, an if else condition is written for the LED indications and the buzzer. These are used for both normal condition and the flawed condition. Here as per my setup, I have taken 4 cm as reference. You can change it as per your setup. Finally, the value of the river level is uploaded to the Thingspeak channel in each every 10 second interval. Now, Thingspeak will show the big red circle if there is a flood and shows the green if there is no flood. Now, compile and upload the code and see the project into the action. This is just a basic model for IoT based flood monitoring and alerting system and there are lot of scope for improvement. I hope you like this project and learned something new from it. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Stay happy, stay safe. Thank you.